When the weather warms up, we all want to get outside. And when we do, it's nice to have a little ambient music. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and portable Bluetooth speakers are a great way to bring your own personal soundtrack along. And TriBit's X-Sound Mega wireless speaker is one of the newer options that is made for both indoor and outdoor use. I recently got a sample of this speaker, and in this review, I will take a look at what its special features are, how it sounds, and if I think it's a good pick for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos, which I hope everybody out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. This speaker is what I would call a small to medium-sized portable wireless speaker. It's IPX7 waterproof rated, meaning it can be submerged in up to one meter of water for 30 minutes. But since the manual advises against dropping this speaker, I'll say it's not a rugged option. Handily though, it does float when you put it in water. One of the other key features, lighting. The front grille has changeable integrated LED lighting underneath. Plus, there's an array of controls along the top, and you can also use the speaker as a power bank by connecting the USB end of a cord into the port in the back of the speaker. There is no app required to use this speaker, and TriBit doesn't say this on the box or in the manual, but you can download the TriBit app for additional features and function. Now, the app will tell you it is used for the X-Sound Mega here, but I was unable to connect with it using my iPhone 13. After about half a dozen connection attempts, I just gave up. Let's get to the main event and talk about how the sound quality is. A speaker you want to bring everywhere with you is all about the sound quality. When it comes to audio, this speaker is actually pretty good. It's not the caliber of speaker that's going to make you drop your martini on the bearskin rug in awe, but it is powerful, it gets loud, and it has a decent range of sound. The bass is vibrant if missing a bit of resonance, but it actually sounds quite well balanced. Mm -hmm. Key in an outdoor speaker is the ability to fill your listening area. Normally, it can be tough to keep the sound from escaping off into the ether and contain it where you are. On my vacation testing the X-Sound Mega, I was actually surprised at how far I could get from the speaker while still hearing things clearly on just a mid-level volume. Even looping around behind the rear of the speaker, I was still able to hear clearly and the bass stayed thumping the whole time. I was really impressed at the Bluetooth range of this speaker. I left the TriBit X Sound Mega in my office and I walked all over the house with my phone trying to put as much space and walls between me and the speaker as I could. I heard no blips or signal breakup whatsoever. Now, what about multiple connections? Unfortunately, you can only have one phone or device connected to the TriBit X Sound Mega at one time. It will default to the last connection, or once paired initially, you can just tap in your Bluetooth settings menu to reconnect at any time. While on vacation, we splashed around quite a bit with the speaker. It definitely takes a wetting, floats back to the top, and it'll keep right on playing once it's fished out. Very impressive. When it comes to the battery life, TriBit says the battery on this speaker should last about 20 hours. That's pretty decent battery life when it comes to portable wireless speakers today. Some do offer more, but those speakers tend to come at a much higher price. So how do you tell the battery level? There is really no way I can see to determine the battery level. While the power button will turn red when you get low, there's no way to understand what low actually means. Do you have a couple hours or a couple of minutes? Perhaps this is supposed to be visible in the TriBit app, but like I said earlier, since I couldn't connect to it, I can't say for sure. One thing I did notice is the volume buttons have kind of a big step up between them, so it was hard to find just the right setting sometimes. TriBit also has what it calls EQ mode, and to my mind, this would allow fine tuning of bass or treble, but in this case, there are really just three settings. There's extra bass, regular music, or audiobook. The audiobook setting sounds kind of tinny and hollow and appears definitely tuned for simple voice on audio files, stripping every ounce of bass from the music. The extra bass option, though, does indeed pump up the low end to give you a lot more rumble and thump. Overall, this is a refreshingly no-nonsense speaker that still gives you a bit of extra value with the addition of the fun lighting. The speaker is easy to operate, it sounds good, it's got great outdoor range, the battery will carry you through a weekend, and it is waterproof. Downsides? Well, you can only connect one phone or device at a time, the app connection didn't work for me, and it's hard to view detailed battery life. 
If you can live with those cons, then I think you'll really like the Tribit X-Sound Mega. It sells for about $109 and you can get it from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this speaker. You can also post them here in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada. Required to use this speaker and try but, try but, try bit, try but. So please mash that like button and consider becoming a, subs a subscriber. Blah.